Acting Managing Director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, Professor Daniel Pondé, has fainted. He fainted during the ongoing probe of the commission while the House Committee and NDDC shown out of the vicinity after showing symptoms of ill health during the hearing. Pandey lost consciousness for a few moments before he was resuscitated. Earlier, PLOS TV Africa's correspondent Amadim Uyi gave us an update on the development. Now, uh, exactly what happened is the culmination of the probe uh, that had uh, that begun sometime last week. Remember, at the point in time, uh, Professor Ponde had walked out of the uh, House Committee probing mm -hmm. mismanagement of funds uh, to the tune of several billions of naira by the management of the NDDC. Uh, and the probe continued. The probe initially was meant to take a few days, but it continued, and uh, Professor Bondi and his team arrived in Abuja. He was first questioned by Honorable Igari Wei from Ebony State on... Uh, about 615 million now. No, I th the, the question is started with Honorable Shehu Koko from Kedi State, who wanted to know why the NDDC would spend about 1.3 billion naira on palliatives for his staff. After that questioning, Honorable Igariwe from Ebony State took over and wanted to know why the NDDC would award the sum of about 615 million naira to encourage Russian to help them locate the NDC project. It was while he was trying to answer the question that he showed signs and slobbed uh, in front of the lawmakers right. during the hearing. Right. Uh, I mean, we also saw uh, images, you know, visuals showing when uh, he was led out of uh, the hearing uh, from, uh, with support from two gentlemen there. I mean, the question would be, what next uh, now? The, the committee has continued the hearing. Remember that uh, the NDDC uh, MD, Professor Pondi, is just one person, and the committee had complained that they wanted to get to the root of the matter. Remember that last week when Professor Pondi even walked out of the committee, citing reasons that he did not trust the judgment of the committee uh, chairman. What, what the committee did was they were unanimous in telling the chairman to step aside uh, during the questioning of Honorable Pondi. And then the deputy chairman of the Ahado committee was the one overseeing the question today so that Professor Pondi would not have any reason to say that he was being unfairly questioned uh, with a biased intent.